While traveling in Romania, I received a strange message from a man named Ursu. This is what it said. Hello, friend Mihail from country of Biver. I am yes, the Europa person, bear man from Romania, yes. I put eye today on new vlog you make on your channel of YouTube. Come to my country, come to Romania, go to forest, only pick two mushroom, make parasol schnitzel, eat a uh, UTDBD fancy truffle like uh, uh, what, like a uh, little princess come from France. Now, I tell you what to do, okay? Ever come back to Romania, you call me. You come with me, we go to forest. We pick many, many good mushroom, yes? The mushroom that make you better in head, okay? We get big animal, yes? We go get very good animal, yes? Now, if ever come back, you give me call. Now I go get animal. I need new animal for lunch. I was thoroughly confused, but I'm not one to turn down an invitation, especially from a local. And that brings me here, to a cabin in Western Romania, to meet him. Oh my God. <laughs> so... No, 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 no. No, no, no. First drink, then talk. Yes, you take this. You see this bottle of uh, pink uh, fluid, yes? Very magic potion. How I explain pink? It's, um, it's like a color of a uh, woman uh, Yepuritsa, <laughs> yes? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm here with my man Ursu, which means bear in Romanian. Look at this guy. He's very much do. Yes, look at this. <laughs> He's not always like this, though he is definitely sometimes. When I released the mushroom vlog you guys saw a couple weeks ago, he hit me up. And he's got an adventure plan for us today. So, Ursu, the bear, oh, what's yeah. the plan? Well, the plan is, first of all, as I said, first drink, then talk. This is really important. This is palinka with some spicy stuff in it. The moonshine of Romania. Mm. It seems everywhere you go, you take a shot of palinka. <laughs> That's like the, the tradition in this country. First of all, I really liked your uh, last vlog. You know, you found the truffles and everything. Those are like really cool mushrooms, but there's plenty more stuff to do in Romanian forest. And I really want to show you the magical stuff that I found. Okay, so that's the plan. We'll just go to the forest, see what we can find. Mushrooms, whatever else uh, is probably edible that we can find in the autumn right now. Mm -hmm. Bring it back here, cook it later, leave the stuff that's uh, plenty or not necessary. And yeah, that's that. Just make, an, just make a beautiful feast from the forest. Well, mushrooms are my new obsession. I think you're probably getting the reality of that now on YouTube and if you follow me on Instagram. This guy is like, I don't want to call him the mushroom king, but he knows a lot. He's learning a lot, but he knows how to find them and cook them. So we're going to go today, make a mushroom feast, and I'm going to try to learn some Romanian, or at least- Some very dirty Romanian. From very, yeah, <laughs> can't do it. Anyway, forest time. Mushroom ID is something that's a little bit complicated, but extremely cool. Ursus gonna show us. Yo, so check it out. This is a bolete, it's an edible one. And we know it's a bolete through its uh, hymenophore, which is the part that spreads the spores, which are the seeds of the mushroom. Just over here, you see? It's tubes, just like kind of like a sponge. This is a bolete from the boletus family. That's how we know. And these, my friends, are guild mushrooms. You see this? Totally different than the spores we've seen before. These gills spread the spores for this mushroom. So this is another uh, identification characteristic, okay? So another key identification characteristic of mushrooms is the place they grow in. Because some of them grow on dead tree, like, this, uh, like these ones here. Mm -hmm. Some grow next to certain types of trees. Some will just simply grow on moss or in the grass, in grasslands. And so if you think you know the mushroom that you've picked, you really have to be careful that it's in the same place as it's supposed to be. It might just be a different species. Let me think about these ones. Nope, not the, not the good ones. Mm. Man, they look really pretty, but it's not what we need. If only was the pretty ones readable. A lot of the pretty ones. <laughs> -lo 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 
Some kind of corals. Corals. Don't know what that means. We're gonna find out. Oh, dude, that's amazing. Look how yeah, man. Look how pretty these guys are. Amazing, huh? These are a kind of coral mushroom. I don't remember the exact Latin name for them, but they're most likely not edible. But look how pretty these guys are. Yeah. If you're in doubt at all that something is edible, just 1%, do not do it. Do not do it, okay? <laughs> but what if it looks tasty? Do not do it. <laughs> do not do it, okay? Do you know how terrible death from po very poisonous mushrooms is? You don't want to know. All right, I think I got it. Do you guys got it? I hope you got it. That's a beautiful mushroom though. There's a whole garden, a whole mini world, a whole Narnia just living on that tree stump there, right? <laughs> Hold on. Look at it. A full entire world just here. Look at the water just, you know, making these little pretty beauties wet. <laughs> <laughs> Deadly though, but beautiful. Wow, look at this. The forest floor is absolutely covered in little tiny mushrooms. I have no idea what they are. Yay, yeah. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Okay, hold on. So this little mushroom is a very famous one. Uh, you could call it the Super Mario mushroom. Uh, you've seen it everywhere because it has, now this one has been washed, but it usually ha has these little white spots on them, the Amanita muscaria. It's a very cool, very beautiful mushroom. And this is going to help us for our next identifying feature. As you can see here, this mushroom has a ring or what's called an annulus, right? This thing, is a remnant of the veil it initially grows in. Now, some mushrooms have this, some mushrooms don't. Some mushrooms only have a remnant of even this, or just like a little, little uh, line that separates two colors or no colors, but just the line. This is another identifying uh, key for mushrooms. Well, yeah, this is considered to be a hallucinogenic mushroom, but it's also considered to be a poisonous one. And so, you know, if ever tempted, but don't be, this thing is also going to give you very bad headaches and stomach aches and stuff like this. It's not a good idea. Besides, it's illegal to uh, keep this and have this in Romania. So uh -huh. we're just going to leave it here in the forest. There's many animals that can eat it without seeing God. And for them, this is food. So we should just leave it for them here. Yeah, yeah okay. it, it's a cool one because you see it again in Super Mario. You see it in some Christmas scenes with the elves. And so I think there's a deep history with this mushroom and maybe psychedelic use that we're only starting to understand in the world today. But it, I mean, it's not for us. We'll keep it here. but. Uh, very beautiful, right? There's even a theory. I mean, this, this mushroom is painted in very old cave paintings. Uh. There's even a theory that this is the mushroom that sparked human communication. You know, make us change from normal communica animal communication to more, to creation, to, I don't know, gods and everything else. That's the stoned ape theory? The stoned ape theory, exactly. That's uh -huh. what they call it. Yeah. Do your own research. We're not experts. We're enthusiasts. Mostly him. I'm just here for the fun. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Well, I was walking around being a vlogger, not really seeing where I was going, as I do sometimes, and I almost stepped on chanterelles. Yeah, buddy, check these guys out. I think this, uh, these are my favorite mushroom. They're, uh, you know, growing, going through, growing through spice, spikes here. Have to be really careful with them because they're really, really tender. But these are definitely one of my favorite mushrooms. I even actually made a song about them. I did. A song about finding chanterelles, man. Did you? I can, love them. Can we hear the first verse? Mm. Chanterelles if I might find. Another identifying characteristic of many mushrooms is whether they stain or not when they oxidize. So this guy we found here, it's a bay bolete, um, or Imleria badia. This guy has already stained and we've just touched it. You see this discoloration here? This is showing us, together with other characteristics, that, that this is a bay bolete, right? So the color in which mushrooms stain and the place where they stain are other identifying characteristics. Okay, and oxidation might sound like a fancy word, but you know when you cut those apples in half and they turn brown, that's oxidation too. Just some mushrooms turn blue apparently, <laughs> but it's another important identifying characteristic, especially of boletes, yeah? Look, look, this one actually says Mike. Wow, <laughs> nature's amazing. What Come on, man, I gotta shoot this. This is really cool. This is actually the only animal we're going to be sacrificing today. Check these out, man. These are called hedgehogs. And they're a really, really cool mushroom. 
Let me show you why. Remember I told you about the gills and the spores and everything, like the tubes that form a bolete? Well, this guy has a very different uh, hymenophore. You see the part that spreads the spores for this guy are like these little teeth, like a toothbrush. This is actually why they call this a hedgehog. It's a very choice edible. It's quite a beginner mushroom. It's, it's very hard to uh, mistake it for something else. And it's freaking delicious, man. It's great, great texture. And we found a lot, man. This is going straight to the stew cauldron. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I wish I got excited about anything in life as you got excited about mushrooms. <laughs> oh, and check it out, man. Look, Mike, look over here. You see this white stuff? This is the spore print. But what is a spore print? Actually, last night we set up a science experiment to show you exactly what it is. Take it away. And sometimes mushrooms really, really look uh, very much alike. So you need something else other than just their aspect to make uh, sure that you have the right one, right? And that's where the spore print comes in. Check it out here. Mushrooms drop a lot of spores. And what you need to do is to just set the mushroom overnight and underneath it, look at this. Shbam! <laughs> Various colors. Look at this thing. Oh, look at the pretty one. Right? Check out the honey mushrooms. Our little Inoki is here. Oh, look at this. Look at the white creamy pearl color. And look at these ones. Oh, this is great. Oh, let's see the small one. There we go. Look at all this gilt stuff. Give us the big one in the back. Yeah. Zhoop! Wow. Oh, look at this one too. It looks like art, right? It does look like art. This is naturally made art. Okay, just to reinforce what we're looking at here, these stains you see are trillions and trillions of little, let's call them mushroom seeds, spores that rain down. And we can see it here because they've been here probably like eight hours or something, right? At least. So they're constantly flowing out of the mushroom caps. And while some parts of the mushroom can be confusing, that's one thing you can check sometimes is the color of the spores, orange, white, sometimes purple. It's amazing, right? Yeah. Super cool. But that's not exactly why we're here. We're back home, we've got the haul, and honestly, I can't even believe my eyes. Check us out. means dinner time. Let's see what's on the menu. So we no, have- No, 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 stop. You never learn lesson. First drink palinka, <laughs> then talk friend. It's always palinka first. Narok, Narok. We're making friends, man. Narok. And <laughs> cheers for a successful adventure because Ooh, damn, yeah. look at these things. I, uh, yeah, man. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at this. This is really freaking what, big. What the hell is this? I didn't realize you could have <laughs> things like this growing in nature that are edible, right? This is a bolitas. It's a bolitas, yes. You have a plan to cook these. First of all, we're going to make a stew. I have this recipe that I've been perfecting. Okay, and the hedgehogs. The hedgehogs we're going to use in the same stew because they retain their, they still keep their uh, texture even when they're cooked. So they're gonna give it a little bit more crunch. Okay. You know? And I know you're excited about this one. Oh, I really am. The enoki. Really am. The enoki. Well, these are enokis. Uh, well, actually, they're the same as the ones that you find in the in the shop. The very thin, long, white ones. Now you see an Asian food a lot. Yeah. yeah, you see an Asian food a lot. But these ones are grown outside. So because they're exposed to the sun, they have way more vitamin D, which of course is good for you because most of us are deficient in vitamin D. Uh -huh. And they're pretty, you know, they're colored pretty, like, just you know, like this with the orangish, brownish, everything. But we're going to use them in an Asian dish. So up here in the Romanian mountaintop, we will make some kind of a stir fry from enokis. These are going straight in the in the stir fry. Imagine the colors we're gonna have in the stir fry. So enoki, chanterelle, and a stir fry. Yes. Uh, we have, where's Mr. Slippery Jack? Mr. Slippery Jack. He's got, he got buried. Well, this guy, let's make a gem out of the Slippery Jacks. And, and we'll what? use wine for it. <laughs> Mushroom, wine, Jam. Come on, let's experiment with I this. see a worm on that one. Is he going to be in the jam too? Maybe. On Fearless <laughs> and Far, we eat bugs. It's not a new thing. Also, 
this one, which is a mushroom we didn't ID <laughs> earlier. This is a special thing you had planned. He was in talking about it. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe the jam either, but. These are the famous reishi mushrooms, Ganoderma lucidum. Uh, they're a medicinal mushroom. They're like the latest craze, you know, with, uh, with everybody in the world right now because they're highly antioxidant and are very strong against uh, cancerous cells. Right. Right. And what we're going to do with them, you know, people just put them in their coffee, ground them up and uh, take them as pills and stuff like this. But what we're going to make to do with them, instead of making the tea, because it's cold outside, we're going to make mold reishi wine. Of course. What do you think? Huh? Because in Romania, <laughs> drinking is a very important thing. <laughs> <laughs> it is, man. It's the connection, right? So we have mushroom stew. We have mushroom stir fry. We have mushroom jam. We have mushroom wine. And we got two mushroom fanatics. There we go, buddy. Woo! Ready for a mushroom feast. Cooking Ooh. montage. Activate. So, friend, you want me to refresh your uh, wine spritzer? G yes. Cheers, bro. Cheers, bro. <laughs> Ooh. How do you say delicious in Romanian? Delicious. Delicious. There it is. It's time. We have not tried this yet. We are so busy drinking, cooking, and what else are we doing? Dancing? Dancing. <laughs> <laughs> so to recap, we have a mushroom stew with bolides and hedgehog mushrooms. On top of that, we have a stir fry that exactly. had the enoki mushrooms. Exactly. In the middle, we have a dessert, which is the slippery jack mushrooms mixed with wine on toast. And then we have our Mold wine with reishi, which is a medicinal mushroom. I guess we're trying that one first. <laughs> you must remember, friend, always drink first and talk later. Ooh, not mushroomy mm. at all, but with the benefits. Right? All the benefits of the reishi mushroom in it. So yeah. I am stoked about this too, mostly. So let's right, grab, let's try grab it. a forkful. It looks phenomenal, by the way. Cheers. Mm. Thank you for doing this for me. Cheers, buddy. I was mostly it's shooting. My pleasure, man. Mushroom heaven. Man, what's what do the Japanese call it? Umami? That like, oh my God, I feel so home right now, filling <laughs> taste. This is like the definition of that. <laughs> you couldn't have a dish oh my more God, mushroomy. Man. I honestly feel the same, dude. It's just, I've never cooked anything like this before. Not oh. so many things, you know, but wow. It's like wow. a warm hug from God. <laughs> it's the embrace of the forest, man. It's the, the cornucopia of what forest mm -hmm. has, has to give us. And you know, we made fun of this, but there was no animal harm in doing this, mm -hmm. right? This is completely vegetarian here, mm -hmm. right? This is freaking amazing. And with the blue cheese and the chestnuts on top, God. Mm. Mm -hmm. Slippery you Jack jam. Boom. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's like um, it's like uh, rhubarb. Has it? Yeah. You know rhubarb? I do, I do. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like a little bit, I don't want like, sour is the wrong word. It's got like got some... Um, Fruitiness? Like, Fruitiness? It has attitude. Yeah, fruit. Yeah. <laughs> and the, the mushrooms actually kept their consistency. So it's like mm -hmm. a little bit of texture there too. Nice. And man, the wine totally worked. Yeah. Like this is... In the beginning, I was like, are you, are you serious with this wine, <laughs> <Yeah>. mushroom, <laughs> jam? Okay. Well, we're going to pick out because I think we deserved it. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is video three or four in the Romania series. There's still a few more coming. This guy is such a good chef. I'm going to kidnap him for a few <laughs> days and we'll have some more adventures. He's also just starting a YouTube channel. Check it out below in the description. If you're a mushroom fan, if you want to be a mushroom fan, if you want to try this food right now, like, subscribe, you know the jam. All of that helps the YouTube algorithm and all of that helps me. Woo!
spread my message about fear. There's more Romania episodes coming. Guys, thank you so much. Chase your fears, and I'll catch you in the next episode here on Fearless and Far. Dude, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> Let's kill the camera. Buddy. Mm. Cheers, my friend. Yeah.